coverage in media, especially Western media, Philippines seem to be a dangerous place to travel to. If you follow foreign office travel advice, you see many alerts for the Philippines. And according to 2017 Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report of World Economic Forum, the Philippines is the 11th most dangerous country for tourists. However, after one month of our stay and travel through the Philippines, exploring beautiful beaches, chasing waterfalls, breathtaking nature, sunrise and sunset, this is what we found out about safety in the Philippines. Safety can be broken down into two major categories, geographical and human behavior. For human behavior, we've experienced the complete opposite of what media portrays it to be. From the moment we landed in Manila, locals went out of their way to help us. The man at the gas station shared Wi-Fi with us so we can order grab and avoid the infamous taxi scam. Oh, and you're stopping when we were on the plane. While walking around what seemed to be a rough neighborhood, we spot a huge fire with open arms. One of the locals brought us in his home onto the roof to get a better view at the occurring fire. <laughs> And after we spent one night in Manila and then travel to Dumaguete, which is more south of the Philippines, the first day, the tricycle driver just went out of his way, go down of the tricycle, top off the money to his mobile phone, so then we can contact Airbnb host to make sure that we arrive in the right location. So basically, Dumaguete got the nickname as the city. The city of nice people, or the city of humble people, or something like city that. City of gentle people. City of gentle people. Gentle people! Oh, the city of gentle people, right. And that is not it. If you worry about interacting with locals in the Philippines, you have no reason to be at all. There are many situations that we have run into where the Filipino have proven time and time again that they are some of the nicest people in the world. Coconut. <laughs> this is all coconut? Yeah, you can tell because it's so small. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the miss said that the soup is so good and she gave more. Uh, good day! Yeah. Goodbye! They seem to always have a huge smile on their face. Whenever you see them, even when you're stranded on the side of the road, many Filipino people will come together to make sure that you make it home safe. While traveling on Apple Island, we wanted to find a beach that many people didn't explore. The tour guide went out of his way to give us a detailed instructions on how to get there with no extra charge. Even after the instructions, we still got lost. We were okay with it because the people and the kids we met along the way made it all worth it. <laughs> we get lost over and over again, but while traveling Sequito Island, the phone died. Yet again, the locals gave us a great direction and great love every time we stop, which happened to be like every 10 minutes. <laughs> Sometimes they would go so far out of their way and drop what they are doing at that moment so then you can follow them to the destination. The Philippines has a slogan, it's more fun in the Philippines. And we totally agree with that because the Filipino people is what makes it more fun. <laughs> they go out of their way to make you feel right at home. If you're even lucky enough, they will even invite you to their famous Filipino fiesta. This is where you share a unique slow roasted pork, local Filipino drinks, and amazing stories date back generations. <laughs> Oh, 
strong. It's good. Mm-hmm. Delicious? Mm-hmm. It is corn. Mm-hmm. Liver, liver. Oh, liver, boy. liver, boy. Good. Oh. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Filipinos, they are so welcoming. They are so friendly. They are so helpful. Why well, you got half a mustache and half a beard because and the other half? Because he is a broken hearted. Broken hearted. <laughs> <laughs> That's why <laughs> half. 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 <laughs> we encounter so many situations that tend to be worse, but they always make things better for us. They always help us out along the way. So, as far as the geographical dangers go, if you are worried about the Philippines, then you should be worried about almost every country in Southeast Asia because they all lie directly in the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a major area of the Pacific where a large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. So, if you ask us, if the Philippines is dangerous to travel to or to stay, we would say no. <laughs> Treat people just the way you want to be treated and you will be welcomed with open arms and a big smile. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look like hi. That's why we are going back to the Philippines again next week. We are so excited for it. So definitely. So we next week again. is the start of our two month journey through the Philippines. We'll be spending two months there this time. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Stick around for the rest of our journeys and our upcoming travels through the Philippines. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining at all, leave it a thumbs up. Please leave it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. See you guys in the next one.